Shane Ownby with Blind Ambitions, Pasco, Washington. Um, I just want to talk today uh, a little bit about our um, customized um, spreadsheet estimating. And um, I've been estimating for over 30 years. And I have used um, lots of different software to do my estimates. Um, sometimes I, it was mandatory at the place I worked. Um, and I've used things like Quicken and I've used industry software, software that's written just for uh, blind stores or flooring stores or whatever to try to do the estimates. And none of them have ever, ever come close to being as easy and as flexible as the spreadsheet. And I think most people are somewhat familiar with spreadsheets, but they really don't know how to use and to manipulate spreadsheets to the point that they can create estimates that will do exactly what they want to do. Um, I was in the computer repair business for a long time, and I noticed that a lot of people just didn't have the time to learn everything that that I knew about computers, obviously, and just really would rather just have me come in and do it. And so I got the idea that maybe a lot of people feel that way about spreadsheets. Maybe they would like to use a spreadsheet. Maybe they would, you know, like to, to have a custom spreadsheet made for their particular business that they could use, but that perhaps maybe they just didn't really want to get into all the nuts and bolts about how to change them and update them. So I am offering um, not only a, a template spreadsheet that you could use and go forward forever and ever and ever uh, and update it and make it what, exactly what you want, but I'm also willing to to uh, you know listen to your concerns and answer your questions and um, maybe make some changes for you on a, on a regular basis. So um, anyway, that's kind of where we are right now with the uh, blind estimating spreadsheet. Um, honestly, I was in the flooring business for many, many years, and I used to do all of my carpet, all of my ceramic tile, all of my laminate floor, my countertops, my Formica, uh, my solid surface, even my blinds and my wall coverings, and even paint. I could figure out a spreadsheet that would make it easy to estimate those things. And and honestly, I've always done my estimates way faster and could make changes way easier than any of my uh, co-workers. And uh, I think most of them just kind of felt like it was just too much for them to, to, uh, to learn and to do. And so they just used whatever software the store uh, was using at the time. And so um, anyway, <clears throat> in regards to um, doing blinds, um, I've created a spreadsheet and I've been using it over the last 10 years. And I have what's called a template file. And my template file is my raw file. And I'd be willing to provide you with the raw file with all of your data, all your logos, everything that you need. And then, of course, help you understand how the, how the spreadsheet works and teach you what to do to make the spreadsheet applicable for each and every customer that you have. And then, of course, um, answer any questions that you have going forward. And I would imagine that you'll have a lot of questions at first. And then as, as the days and weeks go by, you'll have less and less. And probably within a month, you'll be able to do everything that I can do on a spreadsheet. And you'll be able to take your spreadsheet to whatever level um, you would like to take it to. And so having said that, um, let me just show you a spreadsheet. Uh, this one is for a customer, a fictitious customer named Michelle Zether, and she lives in Kennewick. I'm in the Tri-Cities, and Tri-Cities is three areas, Pasco, Kennewick, and Richland, Washington. And we're right around the Columbia River. We're over in the eastern part of the state. And so um, it's really a nice area, and uh, I really like it here. But um, this particular spreadsheet basically has all the customer's contact information along with their email address and the date that I did the estimate and then how uh, I learned about the customer. 
And then on the right, it shows our company logo, my name, the office number, my cell number, my email address, and of course, the day that I printed out this estimate, if I do print it, which is always the current date. Okay, so this is the date that I did the estimate, and this is the date that I printed out the estimate. And you can see um, this one was done in November 30th of 2022, but today is January 3rd of 2023. And there's a lot of reasons for that, but um, just suffice it to say that that's one of the things that I've tweaked and I've, I've come to, to appreciate about my spreadsheets in regards to dates is having the estimate date and the current date uh, on the uh, estimate. Um, and then, of course, I've gone through and I've, I've um, created nine line items and the, the estimate has a template that has 22 line items. I just deleted um, 12 of them. And then I renamed all of them to be applicable to all the names of the rooms that she wants to put a blind in. And then I put the name of each blind in each room. And you'll notice that some of these are highlighted a different, uh, with a different color than the others. And the reason they are is because they're different blinds. So she has this uh, HD roller shade called Swinton Penbury. And it's roll only and it's motorized. And she has that in one, two, three, four, five areas. And then she has a roller shade called Umbria 5% Enlighten in one, two, three, four areas. So when you put all this, when you put all the data in, in my opinion, it's a good idea to use features such as bolding. And sometimes you can you can do things like underscoring. Okay, if I wanted to underscore that, I would choose that, and it would put an underscore under things. Or I could make this, let me just undo that by hitting Control Z, or I could make these all a different color. Um, whatever I want to do to my spreadsheet so that when I look at it, I see that I have one or two or three different blinds. It makes it easier for the customer to read, and it makes it easier for the order desk to, to order accurately exactly what we want to order. So for all intents and purposes, I have nine blinds in nine different areas, and they are two different blinds that make up this, this order. Five are one type of blind, and four are another type. And some estimates, I mean, all of them are the same. And some estimates all have four different kinds of blinds. Um, it, it all varies, but I always try to make my estimates make sense in the sense that I make the, the product description differ for each kind of blind so that the customer and the order desk can get it right. Okay, very, very big part of, of my process. Now, this particular estimate uses two columns, and I have one column, column one, that is figured at a 40% discount and it figures the cost of the blind. And so all I do is once I've gone out and I've measured and I've identified the blind that the customer wants, I look it up and I plug it in right there and I plug it in and I plug it in and I plug it in all the way down to the end. Okay. And then my spreadsheet automatically figures the total automatically figures the discount to whatever discount I want. And on this particular blind, I do a 40% discount because it's new construction. And I do free install, I do free estimates, and I do free temporary blinds. And I get about every estimate that I actually do. And I'm very competitive. Okay? But that's just the way I do it in my area because it's new construction. And so I want every job, and I'm usually doing nine or more blinds. Now, this was a big house. She has a lot more blinds than this. This is just her first phase, okay? This is a beautiful, beautiful home. And as you can tell, she's got basically top-of-the-line roller shades, okay? Now, this is my total. Uh, this is, no, this is my freight. This is my total with my freight after my discount, my sales tax, and then the grand total, okay? Now, over in this other column column uh, number two, this shows a 25% discount and it's all motorization. So she wanted every blind motorized. So I figured the motorization for every blind and then um, all the remote controls. And she has eight of them. She has eight remote controls. 
that's almost like one remote control per blind. But if you look at all four areas, she needs one remote control in the family room and one in bedroom one, one in bedroom two, one in the office, one in the dining room. One. She has a remote control in every single room. And the only room that, that uses two blinds and therefore only one remote are the family room. So anyway, she has nine blinds and eight remote controls. She also has one charger. She has one Wi-Fi hub. Uh, with voice control and she has the installation of the hub now we do free install but we don't install the hubs for free because we want the customers to install the hubs and if they don't want to install them themselves then we charge them 125 bucks okay um, and then of course that particular line has its own total its own 25 percent discount no freight on that uh, 4479 plus the tax 4864 and then of course um, we do a deposit and a balance on each of these lines uh, but then we combine those two totals we combine the 4691 and the 4864 and we come to 95 55 93 and then the deposit and the balance and that estimate um, was done in 10 minutes barring looking up the prices so once i sat down with the measurement sheet that i did on the job with the tape and a laser then all i had to do was look up the prices for each individual blinds look up the price for the motor which i already knew and then plug in the prices for uh, the remote control the charger the hub and the installation of the hub and then basically my estimate was done now some scenarios that I have, I have to, or some estimates that I do, they want me to do another scenario. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to take this estimate and copy it. I could take it and copy it right to the same spreadsheet by creating another tab. Okay, so if I copied this and I created another tab, I could go in here and I could paste it and I don't know if you can see this because I, the recording feature is not as good as I'd like it to be but I've just created that same exact estimate again now the first estimate is called the 40% off estimate and the second one will just be called the revised estimate revised number one and I'll go in here and I'll take off the motorization or I'll change the pricing on some of the blinds in column one or I'll give her a different discount. Whatever it is I do, it's made really simple because all I'm doing is copying the first estimate, creating a second estimate, a revision number one, and then making the changes to that estimate. And then of course, once I get that all done, I can highlight that and then I can copy that and I can send that to the customer. Well, I highlight it, then I print it, and then I send it to them as a PDF file. They never, ever, ever see the Excel spreadsheet. None of your customers will know that you're using Excel because everything that you send them will be just in a PDF and it's just read only. Okay.